channel when you put in Alex and Sophia's show. I hope you guys out there are enjoying our shows. Last week we talked about the periodic table in great detail, but this week we decided to take a little break of chemistry and do two experiments. This is going, this is going to be so much fun. Alex and I had done this many times and we wanted to share it with all of you guys. This is going to be very easy and I'm sure you will enjoy it. Alex, can you please give us some detail? Oh yes, this is going to be so much fun. We'll do two experiments. One is the reaction between Diet Cola and Mentos, which is a physical reaction. The other is the reaction between regular cola and baking soda. This is a, this is a, a mixture of, physi of a physical reaction and a chemical reaction. Let me explain this to you guys. First is the Diet Cola and Mentos experiment. This is a physical reaction. Here's what the Mentos looks regularly, but this is what it looks like in the microscope. They, in the microscope, they have these small indentations, and those indentations help gather carbon dioxide bubbles and make a huge bubble, and then that erupts. Um, and this is called nucleation. The next experiment is between regular cola and baking soda. So here, so the, ba so, the, so the baking soda reacts with the sugar in the regular cola, which can be fructose or glucose. Uh, so here we go. This is the chemical formula of baking soda, NaHCO3. This is the chemical formula of glucose, C C6H12O6. They, they come together and create CO2 and some other chemical byproducts. Uh, yeah, and so that's the physical reaction. That's, that's, so so this, is, this can be a physical reaction and a chemical reaction. So, let's all do the experiments! Hi everyone, this is the experiment part. So there's two parts, the Diet Coke and Mentos, and the baking soda, and the regular Coke. Okay, so um, so hello everybody. The, the we're gonna do so. I'll, let's start off with the Diet Coke Mentos experiment. So, so for, first is safety, and some first is safety. So for safety, we need goggles. Sometimes you'll need and sometimes you'll need gloves, apron, and and in, and in when there's experiments with toxic chemicals, you're gonna need a few more. So let's wear eye goggles. Okay, so as I said, so here are our equipment. First, a Diet Coke Mentos. Here, so we need Diet Coke, and then we need Mentos. We place them over here. It, it comes in this form, and it can and you can buy it on Amazon. So, and then here, um, then here is here is where we place the Mentos. Yeah, so here is where we place. It's the called the geyser too. It's called the geyser too. That's right. Um, so I guess we should start the experiment. Okay, I'm going to explain the geyser tube, but before we do that, um, I forgot one thing in safety, which is adult supervision, and it is mandatory. So, today, um, now we're going to, so here's a Mentos tube, geyser tube. It's where we're going to place the Mentos, so all we have to do is open it, but I'm not going to open it now. And then this is another device, and we're going to put the baking soda in it, and we're going to put it in here for the baking soda experiment, so. Okay, so now that we've opened the bottle, I'm going to place this carefully over the Mentos and tighten it. Make sure not to pull this until it's very tight. So, yes. And then there we go. That's the tightest I can do. And now Sophie is going to pull it. One. So in the count of three, let's do it. One, two, three. into the geyser tube. We will place the geyser tube on top of the regular coat, tighten it, and we're ready for the second experiment. Wasn't that great? That was incredible! The 
baking soda part was not as vigorous as usual, but that's what science is, experimentation. And we're hoping to make the experiment go about 40 feet high. Wasn't that great? I thoroughly enjoyed these two experiments, and I've learned so much from these experiments. In fact, I've learned about other chemical reactions as well. That's what's cool about science. Everything is related to everything else. Okay, everyone, joke of the day! What did the nuclear physicist eat for lunch? What? Fission chips! Get it? Fission like the nuclear reaction and fish and chips. Okay, everyone, this is the end of our show and hopefully you'll see our next one, which is about chemical reactions in the 